What is up guys, Mystic7 here, and today we have a weird one. It's for a couple of reasons, and they all got kind of screwed up, which made the video better and not better. Basically, I showed how to do the new EV Evolution trick, and then I like royally messed it up. But it still worked as a tutorial, I just didn't do it right. But before we do that, I went to Long Beach to record a video that was going to be uploaded tomorrow, and the video turned out to not really be a video, so I scrapped the whole thing. But I drove all the way to Long Beach, so while I was there, I figured I'd just shoot around and film some stuff and catch something. And we did get a Pokedex entry for that. So moral of the story, everything in this video went the wrong way, but it all works, and it's a video. Also remember, I'll be in Boston this weekend, so for everyone who's in Boston and is ready for the meetup and the Pokemon Go hunt, I will announce all that at the end of the video. So first, a super duper random and quick Long Beach exploration, and then the Eevee Evolution trick. Alright, please enjoy today's broken video. And I'm sure most of you guys can tell exactly where we are. We're at Long Beach for the day. We can only be here for like, actually, about an hour and a half. So we're gonna go catch as much as we can this hour and a half. So I guess the first kind of exciting news for today is I just updated, I got a force update on my phone and we have minor text fixes. They're back. I don't know what this means or if this means anything, but if there is something behind the minor text fixes, Pokemon Go Hub will have something out in the next couple of days, but I don't think that's anything. I think that's your standard meaningless minor text fixes. Like they actually fix the text. Are you ready to see the most just insane XP stack in like three seconds you'll ever see in your life? Okay, we're gonna drop a lucky egg, all right? This is my seven day streak. I do not have a Dunsparce in my Pokedex, actually. This will be a new catch for me. It is a Dunsparce nest here at Long Beach. So let me spin this stop, you feel, right? That's gonna be my seven day streak stop. I didn't think I, get a, I got an item out of that. We'll check that later. Okay, never mind. There's the 5100. And then we're gonna catch our Pokedex Dunsparce for a 1,062 now. This is gonna be our Pokedex Dunsparce, but since it is a Dunsparce nest and they're literally Wow, don't ever throw a ball that bad since they're literally spawning. What am I doing right now? Am I okay? Since they're literally spawning, thank you, everywhere around here, we're definitely gonna stack up on the candies. It's like the cool fish. Like the cool fish, I caught for the first time at the nest, and then every time we go back, we just catch a ton. So, one hitter quitter on our first ever Dunsparce. That is gonna be for Pokedex, though. So, it's still very exciting catch. I know the Dunsparce, 6200 right there. I know the Dunsparce isn't the most rare Pokemon ever, but I didn't have it. Oh, I just saw the unknown in the Pokedex. Wow, that was pretty cool. Let me replay that. That's what the unknown looks like in your Pokedex, or at least one of the letters. Sweet, 1062 Dunsparce. We have three candy for it now, and then how much XP do we get right there for the Dunsparce plus? Pokedex. Oh yeah, 60, what, what? I'm tripping. Basically, we just got like 12,000 XP right there, but we are at Long Beach for the day. You are currently clamped to a garbage can, and it smells like crap, but we got some 2Ks hatching. There's a Totodile that spawned here, and we got a Mischievous out of a 2K. Nice! Okay, this should be a 5K Pokemon, honestly. It should be much more rare than that, but 994, are the IVs good on it? <laughs> okay. Mischievous, one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon, and yeah, as you can see, there's a fat cluster right here. We're on the triple stop, and uh, egg number two is looking like... Oh, God. God, here we go. And behind door number three is gonna be Slugma. That's Gen 2. And Goldeen. What's behind door number four? Ekans. Wow. We're gonna have actually eight. Oh, God. Oh, my God, yo. Three in a row, bro. I don't want you. Do we have any more? Oh, thank God. Hey, we just got a ditto right there. It's a Pidgey guy was with ditto. To be honest with you, I was really hoping it was an actual Pidgey because I just want Pidgey candy to level up, but. 438 ditto with terrible IVs. But a uh, little ditto catch right there. All right, there was that. Now let's get on to the EV evolution trick. What is up, everybody, and welcome to today's very exciting and actually extremely helpful Pokemon Go video. As we all obviously know, Umbreon and Espeon are currently in Pokemon Go. Now there is a name trick you can use to get them, just like all of the other EV evolutions. But if you guys have already done your EV evolution name trick and you got, let's say, you got an Umbreon with Snarl and Dark Pulse, which is the worst moveset you can get, and I got it. So I'm probably going to want either another better Umbreon or another better Espeon, and there is a way to guarantee an EV evolution to turn into one of the two. And actually have a monstrous 820 CP EV with good IVs, so we are definitely going to be turning this into either an Umbreon or an Espeon, I'm not really sure yet. But we're going to have some time to decide on which one we want, because this trick does take a little bit of time to do. You're going to have to come in and trade out your buddy Pokemon. I am walking my Larvitar right now, just because I caught it in the wild. And I really, really obviously want my Tyranitar. Who doesn't want a Tyranitar right now? Sadly, we're gonna have to swap him out. I can't have the Avatars, the buddy. Oh, that hurts. And then we're gonna come down here to our Eevee. What do you have to do for this new trick to work? You have to set your Eevee, the one you want to evolve, as your buddy and walk it for 10 kilometers and get a total of two candies. Or two candies from your Eevee because five candies per kilometer, you walk 10, you get two candies. And this might take a day or two to do, so I'll be right back when we have the 10 kilometers for our Eevee. 
We did it! We actually walked 17.9 kilometers total with our EV instead of 10 because I'm just an overachiever. I'm not sure if I shouted out the people responsible for finding out how to do this right here or there. That's their Twitter. So as you can see, we've got 17 kilometers, which means we have over 10, which means we can evolve this into a new Generation 2 Pokemon. Now, in order to make it work, you have to, I think, I'm pretty sure you gotta rename it. Actually, I don't know if this is for a fact. Just to be safe, I'm gonna rename it to Sakura. I do want another Espeon because I do have a pretty good Espeon. Oh, what's happening here? But I want... A better one. Okay, renaming to Sakura, which is the Espeon name trick name. And as you can see, it is daytime outside, even though it looks like it's dark. It's still daytime, which means we'll get an Espeon when we evolve. And then obviously, if you evolve during the nighttime, you'll get an Umbreon. Okay, so if we go in here and go to evolve this, this should work. This should give us an Espeon. Let's do it. Let's evolve. We have an 820 CP EV with good IVs, which is just an awesome evolution. And again, this, if this works, it will give us an Espeon. If it doesn't work, you'll never see this video on YouTube. And let's see it. Yes, it does work. That is confirmed. You do get an Espeon. You have to walk 10 kilometers, rename it, still have it as your buddy, and then evolve. We got Zen Headbutt and Psychic, which is okay for 2556. If I'm not mistaken, the best moveset is Zen Headbutt and Future Sight, but Psychic is still pretty good. But that's Tokyo 2556. Actually, you know what? We're going to power this up all the way, too. Beautiful. We've got our 2705 CP, 109 HP Espeon with Zen Headbutt and Psychic. This is a beast of a Pokemon. 2700 on an Espeon, dude. Oh my god. Sweet. Okay, so we figured out the Espeon. Now I have to find a good IV EV, which is going to take forever. Or high CP. I guess I'll just, I have enough candies to mess around. And we're going to attempt this with the Umbreon to make sure it works. Okay, and as you can see, if we go to our EV, we're actually at 17.8 kilometers walk. I just, I've been like procrastinating to do this evolution for the longest time, so I need to change out my EV to my Larvitar because I want to start walking that for the Tyranitar. So we need to evolve this bad boy right now. So we've got our EV, that's our buddy right now. Let's go over to him. And actually, this is, so he's only 243 CP, right? So that's super duper low, but he has wonderful IVs, and this is the only wonderful IV EV I had. And I've got almost a thousand EV candy, so we can for show sure evolve this guy and then eventually power him up when we need to. But let's go in and name him Tamau. Tamau, because I don't want to ruin this evolution because I didn't rename him. So his name is to Mao. That is the Umbreon shortcut, and now we need to evolve this and get our Umbreon, because we have walked over 10 kilometers with him, he has been our buddy, he loves us, so he's gonna evolve into what we want. Okay, let's do this. Evolving to Mao, this should give us an Umbreon. If this does not, it's gonna ruin the entire video. Also, not recording it would ruin it. I had to make sure it was recording. Okay, let's see, and we got, please be Umbreon. Oh, wait, what? Um, hold on. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! You have to evolve it at night. Oh, it's 1.30 p.m. I'm so stupid. Well, on the bright side, that is the best move set you can get on an Espeon. We got Zen Headbutt and Future Sight. On the downside, if we go to our top CP Pokemon, I already powered up my Espeon all the way to 2700 with Zen Headbutt and Psychic. So now we have another Espeon with the best move set. We don't have the Umbreon. And I'm seriously debating <laughs> redoing that and walking it. And that, oh my god. I don't know if I want to walk another 10 kilometers just for the video. You, you guys know how it works. If you evolve the uh, Eevee at nighttime when it shows like nighttime on your screen, it'll turn to an Umbreon. So that's the trick. You don't have to name it to Mao. Obviously, seen by there, you do not have to name it to Mao. I am a Jack. I can't believe I just did that. Well, again, on the bright side, dude, the Espeon. Espeon is, I think it's my favorite over the Umbreon just because it looks so freaking awesome. Uh, but we have the best move set. We can power this up all the way. It's going to take a lot of candy, a lot of stardust. But that was the biggest screw up I've done in a while. Uh, okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> Good job, Mystic. You're an idiot. No, not you, Mystic. Me, Mystic. I can't believe I did that. I forgot the one part of the trick that is most important, evolving at night. So now instead of two Umbreon and two Espeon, we've got three Espeon and one Umbreon, which I think is better because the Espeon is the better Pokemon when it comes to CP and attack and everything. Also, in my personal opinion, the Espeon looks awesome, the Umbreon also looks awesome, but I think the Espeon is my favorite over the two. But either way, we're gonna go out right now. It is nighttime, as you can see. We're gonna go in the stealth cover of night and actually take some valor gyms because valor again 
runs my stuff around here. And we'll be using our three Espeons, one at 2700, one at 1600, and then one at 758, and then our 1141 Umbreon. And uh, I haven't used these in a gym for, I've used, uh, I think, the Espeon once. But the Umbreon I haven't used yet, and I haven't used like a full squad of Umbreons and Espeons, so this will be the first time. That's the plan. Let's use them. So here's the first gym, and it's another weird one. It's the same gym as before, and it's like, okay, it's a level seven gym with one, two, three, four, five Pokemon in it. I don't know why. The gym is leveled up, but it doesn't have the max amount of Pokemon dropped in it. Beats me. But either way, we're gonna battle this with our Pokemon. Mainly our brand new Umbreons and Espeons. We got Espeon, Umbreon, Espeon, Espeon, Dragonite, Dragonite, because this gym is right on Gyarados, 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 right on Gyarados, right on Gyarados. So it's kind of a boring gym, but we get to test out both the Umbreon and the Espeon against two pretty popular and OP Pokemon. Well, not OP, but like they're definitely popular Pokemon. You see a lot of Rhydon, you see a lot of Gyarados, so it's pretty good to get uh, a gauge on how good the Umbreon and Espeon perform against them. So against Rhydon number one, I should definitely be dodging because the Rhydon's attack does do some damage. Oh god, oh no, there goes that. Well... Yeah, so uh, Espeon versus Rhydon. Espeon's not the uh, not the winner here. <laughs> Although we're significantly smaller, the Espeon's like the size of the Rhydon's horn. Come on, we can get one more. We can get. Oh, I should dodge. I should have dodged. Oh, no. All right. Well, the Rhydon is going to take one of us out. Wow. That is an intense looking attack, dude. Jesus. This Umbreon's. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you see that? Why is that so, like, it's so intense? Look look at this attack. <laughs> it lights up the entire screen. All right, let's see. How does this look? Not. That wasn't anything. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse looks sick. Okay, the Umbreon's attacks are way cooler than the Espeon's. That's for damn sure. Dude, this is just... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking... Dragon Pulse! Dodge it! Yo! Thank you! Okay, give me the health back. <laughs> I was about to freak out right there. Yeah, Umbreon's movesets look awesome. Although they don't do a ton of damage against Gyarados, but at least they look cool. No, 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 no! <laughs> Dodged it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll take this Gyarados out unless he Dragon Pulses us as we're using... Uh oh, uh oh. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. Yup. We got him right here. Gyarados going. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah! Yes! We beat him. Woo! That was close. All right. Now we got another Gyarados. We're definitely not going to be able to take him out with our Umbreon because our Umbreon is pretty much dead. Although we can use one more special set on him, which is going to not come through. Dang it. Bro, the Umbreon's moves, man. They look insane. Oh, God. This Gyarados is Crunch. Crunch is such an annoying move set to have to deal with. Yep, yeah, that's why. Oh, boy. Here we go. Wow, this is a fun one. Oh, God. Crunch. Oh, why me? <laughs> Psychic! Ah! Well, there goes our 16... Wow. That just mauled our 1600 Espeon. Oh, my gosh. There's no way our 700 survives this. You know what? I believe. I believe. We just got to dodge the Crunches. Yup. Okay, I dodged that. You better give the health back. Are you serious? You cheating? Ah! Oh. Somebody honking at me? I'm just playing Pokemon. Well, there goes all our Umbreon's and Espeon's. And I'm getting honked at. We're definitely beating this gym, though. We have DFA. We've got a dragon that we caught the other day. We'll take this gym out. They're like alarms going off, bro. I'm kind of kind of freaked out right now. Wait, did our dragon die? die? What did I miss? Are you serious? How did DFA die to a Rhydon? That doesn't make sense. There we go, though. That Rhydon's down. That should be the gym. Hey, we brought it down a level. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna heal up all of my Umbreon's und Espeon's, and we're gonna try to find another gym because as fun as it is attacking just Gyarados and Rhydon, I wanna find a little bit more variety. And for the next gym, we are safely parked on the side of the road, and we have an Instinct gym, so we can bully some Instinct, and this will be fun because it's a level 10, we're not gonna take it down. But there's a 2700 Vaporeon, so we can see how the Umbreon and Espeon match up against the Vaporeon, aka one of their brothers. And there's also a Blissey at 2700 CP, so we can see how they stack up against the OP Blissey. Let's see if they can even take out a Blissey. All right, let's do this. Let's see what we can do here with our Umbreons and Espeon versus the Vaporeon first, and then we're gonna go up against the Blissey. I am not assuming we're probably gonna get wrecked by both of them, so I don't even know if we'll be able to take out the Vaporeon, to be honest with you. Our uh, Espeon here at 758, not gonna do much against the 2700 Vaporeon, and that's what I get for evolving like a 200 CP. Uh, Eevee, but Future Sight should do a decent amount of damage. I, I think it, it did. It did okay. Oh, Water Pulse Dodge. Oh, there we go. All right, now we got Sakura, aka the 2700 CP Espeon. This one's a beast. Water Pulse, though. Gotta dodge it. Nice. Yeah, this is 2700 versus 2700, and I know we already brought down the Vaporeon a little bit, but we for show sure would have been able to take out this Vaporeon even if it was full health with our Espeon. What? No! Oh my, I hate when I dodge things and it doesn't register as dodged. Well, now we, oh, hey, thanks for the health back. Now we've got 
the blissy, Jesus Christ, those guys were talking as they drove by me, that scared the heck out of me. I do not think we can take out this blissy, to be honest, oh my god, and they're psychic and I didn't dodge. So with Espeon, you are absolutely unable to take out a blissy. And now we're gonna have to use our Umbreon. Oh god, here we go. Alright, we got Umbreon. God, dude, just the freaking <laughs> animation's insane. Alright, dodge the psychic. Beautiful. Keep the hurt going. Let's do it. Alright, Umbreon, we got 50 seconds, boy. 50 seconds to take this dang thing out. We got the blissy in the yellow. That's a start. You know, we might actually I'm not gonna jinx myself yet. Hold on, hold on. We're getting we're getting close. We only have 20 seconds left. No, we have there's too much health on this thing. Oh my gosh, bro. GG Blissy. Always the Blissy just ruining my fun. Eight, seven, six. Ah we got him in the red, so I we didn't do terrible, but like now here comes the psycho that'll probably kill us. Oh my gosh. Well, time's up. Yeah, that happened. We knocked the gym down a level from 10 to 9, which is nice, but we obviously didn't beat it. And all of our Umbreons and Espeons are oh, they're not all dead. So I'm really hoping Boston has more in the gyms than just Snorlax, Gyarados, Rhydon, and Dragonite, because that's all I can find out here. I want to see some variety, man, some new Pokemon to battle. Look, it's just Rhydon, Snorlax, Dragonite, Gyarados. That's literally all this gym. <laughs> I want to battle some cool things. Well, that's what it looks like when you use the Umbreon and Espeon in the gym. I'm going to go home because it is 1030. I need to sleep tonight because tomorrow I've got to pack for Boston. Busy days. Mr. Guy. And there it is. That was today's video. I've been sitting on this EV Evolution video. If you haven't noticed, I started the video when I was in LA, like two weeks ago, and then I continued it when I was in the Bay, and then back in, like, this video took us everywhere. <laughs> but finally we completed it. Basically, you just gotta walk your EV 10 kilometers, and then if you evolve it during the daytime, it's gonna turn into an Espeon, and at nighttime, it will turn into an Umbreon. You have to keep it as your buddy when you evolve those, so remember that. But that's the trick. Now let's talk about packs and this Boston meetup announcement that actually Mystic will be debuting at. Yes, I'm bringing this guy on my carry-on. He's coming with me. So Mystic and I will be in Boston from Thursday the 9th, aka tomorrow, to the 13th on Monday. We're gonna be there for PAX East, so if any of you guys are at PAX East, just look around for me playing Pokemon and walking around probably like bumping into people. But we will be doing a meetup at the Boston Common. It's a park that's like really, really close to my hotel so I can just literally walk there, which is awesome. And we're gonna be Pokemon hunting there because when I said, where should we go in Boston? I got like a thousand replies of like, yo, Boston Common, let's get it. So we're going there. And I'm kind of undecided on when because I fly in tomorrow around like, I think, I think around noonish, but tomorrow's Thursday. So I feel like it'd be more fair to do this meetup on a weekend. So I think on Sunday, We'll be doing the Boston Common Meetup. And it'll most likely be around noon, I wanna say. Yeah, I think that's where we're gonna set that. I know I said I was giving the official announcement, and it sounds like I'm making it up on the spot, which I am. <laughs> but I think we're gonna do Sunday at noon, Boston Common. Keep up on my Twitter. My Twitter is where I'm gonna tweet out exactly where we're gonna be and how long we're gonna be there for. Twitter is the way to go if you guys wanna know where all these meetups are gonna be worldwide. So when I eventually go out to Hawaii or the Bahamas or England or, you know, all these places, my Twitter, like, I'm gonna announce what I'm doing in the video. Videos, but my Twitter is gonna be where I'm gonna actually tell like spot-on information because I only upload once a day But I tweet a thousand times a day. That's a lie. I don't tweet that much But yeah, Boston people Boston common at noon I'm not sure where because it's kind of a bigger park But I'll figure that out once I get there and like I can scout it out But that's gonna be the Boston meetup It will be on Sunday and again if any of you guys are at PAX East, look out for me, go walking around with the boys, it'll be a fun time. But that was today's video, if you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy today's video and learn from it, make sure to leave a like, and also comment down below and let me know if you guys have used this trick and if it did work for you, and what CP your Umbreon or Espeon was. Because I have a really good one, I have a decent one, I have a bad Espeon, Umbreon, and then I have a really, really low CP Espeon with the perfect moveset, so I kind of screwed myself all around. But that was today's video. If you guys enjoyed that, if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what I just said, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Peace out.